In this video, I'm going to be explaining how the Overtaker or the Pirate's Wardrill events work. So, let's get right into it. If you're on the Seven Seas or the Frontier Fortunes map, you should be able to find this Wardrill event which allows players to get a ton of kill points for free. To do this event, you simply teleport to one of the four areas on the map that have the Derelict Stations or Pirate Fortresses. If no one is occupying the building, you can go ahead and send a full march to it to start the war drill. When you are in the special area around the building, no one will be able to attack your turf, however, they will be able to attack the ops that you send to the center. So if you have an ops in the center, make sure you are ready to recall it in case someone attacks. After you enter the building, make sure you ignore all pirate wave notices for the day. This will prevent your screen from turning red if you are being attacked by pirate waves. That means it will only turn red when other players are attacking you. This will make it a lot easier for you to know when you should recall your troops from the center. During the war drill, you get kill points for each wave you defeat. For example, defeating the first wave gives you 190,000 kill points, defeating the second one gives you 250,000 and so on. Some of these waves also randomly give you double the points sometimes, however I'm not really sure what exactly you need to do to double your points. The kill points that you get here are also considered for the kill event in your city as well, that is the daily crime wave and the city contest kill events. Here's how the kill points are calculated. The first wave gives you 190,000 season kill points, which is equivalent to killing 19,000 tier 10 troops. Therefore, for calculating your city kill points, you simply multiply the 19,000 by 194, which is the amount of points that you get for killing one tier 10 troop in the city. So that means the first wave will give you 3.686 million kill points, the second one will give you 4.85 million kill points, and so on. All the kill point conversions are based on tier 10 troops. The points that you get from these waves are not based on the number of troops you kill during the wave. So for example, if I only kill half of the troops in wave 1, I'll still get the full 190,000 kill points as long as I defeat that wave. Now apart from getting kill points directly, you can also get points for wounding or losing your own troops in the buildings. You can get 50% of your wounded and losses as kill points. For example, if you have 300,000 tier 10 troops inside the building and after a wave hits you, you lose 50,000 tier 10 troops and wound 100,000 tier 10 troops, then in this case you'll get the wave reward as well as a bonus reward for wounding or losing troops in the center. For the bonus reward, you'll get 5 points for each tier 10 troop lost or wounded, which is 50% of what you normally get for killing tier 10 troops in the season event, that is 50% of 10 points. And since your wounded and losses amount to a total of 150,000 troops, you'll get a total of 750,000 bonus points for losing troops in the center. Similarly, since you get 194 points for killing tier 10s in the city, now you'll only get 97 points which is 50% of 194. And so all of those 150,000 troops that you lost will give you a total of 14.55 million kill points in the city. Keep in mind that you don't get any bonus points if you lose troops to other players in the center. So for example, if you have 300,000 tier 10 troops in the center and someone attacks you and let's say you kill 10,000 of their tier 10 troops and they kill all 300,000 of yours, in this case you will get 100,000 season kill points for killing their troops and they'll get 3 million season kill points for killing yours. There won't be any 50% bonus for losses. Both sides will get 100% of their points based on their kills. You can also rob kill points from other players occupying this building by attacking them. If you win the attack, you'll get 30% of the points they've accumulated so far. For example, if you win against the first wave, you get 190,000 points in total. However, 30% of that, that is 57,000, will be robbable. So if another player attacks you and wins, they'll steal those 57,000 points from you. 
If you do the first two waves, then you get 190,000 plus 250,000, which is 440,000 points. If you get attacked and lose, you lose 30% of that, which is 132,000 points. The safest way of doing this event is to recall your troops every one or two waves. Because once you recall them, the robbable amount gets reset and opponents will only be able to rob points that you get from winning against future waves. However, in case you decide to stay in for longer and risk it, you'll be able to get bonus points. You get a 20% bonus for staying for 4 waves, a 40% bonus for staying for 8 waves, and a 60% bonus for staying for 12 waves. Also, the wounded ratio inside the buildings will be 60% wounded and 40% losses, just like it is on tiles. However, this can be further reduced by using the Godfather's Knife and the Stormbreaker Roadster. So that's pretty much all there is to the War Drills event. If you haven't liked the video yet, then be sure to scroll down right now and leave it a like. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. To support me, you can find my Patreon link in the description below. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.